5 weather. I wanted you to see this. Somebody was feeling foxy up in Woodland Park. What a shot that is. That, uh, that fox right there has a penchant to get out and have some fun. Roll down the highway, I believe. Thanks to Bruce for snapping that and sending it in to me. That's a live look outside our Rock Rimmon Studios. The UCCS campus off in the distance. It's clear. It's cold out there with the breeze. It feels like 32 degrees. There's that near full moon in Pueblo. Yes, to the naked eye, it looks full. Officially, it was full last night. And in December, the full moon is called the cold moon. Very appropriate. Red flag warning tomorrow for parts of Huerfano County and also parts of Los Animas County, Walsenburg down into Trinidad. Stay away from anything that could possibly spark a fire. If you see smoke in those areas, please call 911 as quick as you possibly can. Sky conditions, we're starting out clear and we are starting out cold tomorrow morning. By lunchtime, defrost mode is on. Going to see temperatures pretty comfortable during the afternoon. And the great takeaway tomorrow, no wind. Just a very light breeze out of the east, anywhere from 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tracking the potential for big changes around here by next late Monday night into Tuesday. Right now, it looks like the main energy with this thing is just going to track too far to the north to be a major snowmaker here across southeastern Colorado. But everyone gets a big helping of some strong, gusty wind around here from Monday, and especially on Tuesday. It'll be a cold wind on Tuesday. Snow possible right now with the current track of this thing. Uh, it could see We could see some snow across northern El Paso County along the Palmer Divide, Far Eastern Plains, maybe parts of Teller County as well. Storm obviously is still five days off and a lot will happen. A lot will change between now and then. Just wanted to give you the first alert as always. Now speaking of snow, it has really been piling up across the mountains over the past couple of days. If you're headed to the ski resorts to do some skiing this weekend, great timing. You'll be in the steep and deep from Copper Mountain Snow Mass and Wolf Creek. 17 inches of snow just in the past couple of days. Temps today responded to that downslope flow compressional heating. Pueblo High of 56. That's almost 10 degrees hotter than average. And in Colorado Springs, we topped out at 49 degrees. That's four degrees warmer than where we should be this time of the year. Tonight with clear skies, no mixing, no wind. It's going to be a cold one. Strong radiational cooling dropping back into the teens across most parts of the viewing area. For your finally Friday, kind of a trade-off. Not as windy, not as warm. We'll take that after that gusty wind today. Afternoon high is still pretty comfortable for this time of the year. Here's that super seven-day forecast in Colorado Springs. Want to break out Saturday because that's the day a lot of you will be out and about maybe doing some holiday shopping. Weather is not going to slow you down for that. Warmer on Sunday. That's a product of the Chinook kicking in again. That warm, dry, downslope wind. Fire danger will increase all across the area on Sunday. Here comes that storm late Monday into Tuesday. Wind and snow, a bad combination if you have to travel. That's why we're going to go with a three on the storm impact scale for now. Pueblo, all outdoor events and activities. Get the green light this weekend. Look at Sunday. Man, that belongs in the Weather Hall of Fame. Still mild on Monday ahead of that system. Then that strong cold front hits Monday night. Much colder Tuesday, maybe a passing flurry. Definitely going to be windy and much colder by Tuesday. Canyon City dry skies for at least another four days. A passing snow shower possible Tuesday morning. But with the current projected track of that storm, you'll get more wind and snow. Much colder air next week. Woodland Park, if you've been needing a little snow to get you into the holiday spirit, they've got you covered next week. Monday afternoon, Monday night into Tuesday morning. There's your holiday spirit right there. Looks just like light snow right now. We'll keep you updated on that possibility. Time for traffic here at News 5. Here's what we've got for you traffic-wise. Let's go to that traffic computer. There it is right there. There's what we call an incident. It's a crash. North Powers heading northbound into Constitution. We're back with more after a break.